Scotland has, to some extent, been fortunate uh, in respect of climate change. Um, while the climate clearly is changing, that means that we experience more extremes of weather, sometimes very mild and sometimes extremely cold. Sometimes we also have uh, violent weather, uh, strong storms which uproot many trees and cause damage to buildings. But overall, in terms of the way of life of people here, climate change um, has not brought significant issues or significant difficulties. But my attendance at the Eco Bishops Conference in South Africa in March made me acutely aware that in many countries, and in particular in places where many people in the population earn their living from small holdings and small farming, um, the effects are very, very severe. The aspect of that conference which impressed me most was the contribution uh, of those who were speaking about the impact of climate change on the indigenous peoples of our world, particularly the peoples of northern Canada. I listened very carefully to the way in which their relationship with creation was described and reflected on how different ours is. It's the difference between being careless exploiters and careful caretakers. But I also reflected that the, there is a connection between that spirituality and our Celtic spirituality, which teaches us about the integration of all things, of creation with the life of people. And so that learning drives me back to explore again um, our Celtic spirituality and what it may have to say to us as we consider questions of climate change and climate justice.